an approach that was on the one hand empirical and on the other hand theoretical. So the, the empirical approach was first to look at what exists on Earth. We look at organisms that perform uh, fermentation. In this instance, the specific uh, fermentation of glycine I didn't explain why we focused on that, but we can do that later. Um, so organisms that do this reaction, all of them that we know on Earth, where do they live? Uh, what physical and chemical conditions do they inhabit or tolerate? And then we overlay that with the conditions that presumably exist in Titan's ocean. When I say conditions, uh, physical and, and, and chemical conditions, we have to focus on a very, very limited sets of, you know, environmental variables. In this case, it would be temperature, pH, so acidity, and pressure to some extent. So what we saw is that there is a little bit of overlap between, you know, known life uh, habitats for this specific kind of life and the habitats that are expected to exist in Titan's ocean. Okay. So that's one thing, that, that's the empirical argument. And then we have theoretical argument. 